So first I'm going to sketch um, the folds in pencil on my paper and um, you want to simply kind of capture the essence of the fold and also their relationship between because you will notice that the way that the folds are connected is that they you know one fold makes the other um, they're not separate because it's all one piece of fabric um, the way one fold is created is um, through another fold. You know, a piece of fabric is flat, just like paper. However, when it's folded, it creates a lot of volume and um, dimension. And that's something unique about it. And that's something that you want to capture through your drawing. So my piece of fabric is white, so it's a very neutral color of shadow. So I'm going to use some cobalt blue mixed with some umber or sienna, you could use sienna, um, to make a gray, to kind of make a neutral gray. And I can make it cooler by adding a little bit more blue or warmer by adding a little bit more umber. You, you can wet the entire paper or you can wet one fold at a time. It's kind of up to you. So like for example, if I'm going to wet this area and drop some color in here, then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna keep one edge um, crisp and sharp and the other, um, the inside becomes really soft, the transitions. Are sort of have to separate like look at each individual fold separately um, choose a fold that you're painting right now and focus on it and put down the value I'm leaving some areas completely white and untouched of course so, some shadow here so if I haven't I didn't wet the paper so I'm just putting the color down here and I want this edge to be hard. However, on the other side, I want the edge to be soft. So you can just use some water or wet brush to soften the other side. And I'm still keeping it very light. Remember in watercolor, you can layer colors um, and gradually make them darker. So you could work slowly and step by step and will help. That's why so many artists have always been attracted to painting folds. There's so much depth and um, surprise in the folds and challenges that it cre it presents. Um, that it's always a wonderful um, subject to study. So now that the first layer of paint has dried, um, I'm going to add some more shadows. I'm going to start with some of the darkest areas. And this time I want just a little bit more control, so I'm starting on dry paper. I may still drop some color in to allow for some softer transitions. You could see at this point we have both soft and um, hard edges, which again gives the softness of the fabric, but at the same time makes also the dimension, the volume that the fabric is creating through the... A wet brush is really helpful to soften some of the um, marks that you make onto dry paper. Remember that watercolor dries lighter. 
so how some of the folds are starting to emerge a little bit more defined so the process is actually pretty straightforward you just continue in this way one fold at a time again using either painting into um, wet paper or if you're painting into dry paper you can use a wet brush to help you soften a certain mark um, to make the fold appear more rounded and you gradually build up the value between the different folds slowly step by step